here's an example of two different cast-ons that are so similar. This one is utilizing the long tail cast-on and alternating the colors. And this is the herringbone cast-on where you're using a different part of the loop on your thumb. Makes a big difference in the way it looks. To make the herringbone cast-on, I have two colors and I'm going to use short tails, so I'm going to make a slip knot near the end. But give yourself at least four inches or so because you'll need to sew in those ends later. And hold the tails out of your way. And now, this is how I would do long tail. Notice that the yarns are on the outside of my index finger and my thumb. To do herringbone, you're going to bring your thumb the other way so that it's on the outside and you're picking up the inside part of the loop. So you insert your needle, scoop the yarn on your index finger and bring it through. Now bring your index finger out and bring the back yarn forward over the front yarn and take the front yarn to the back. I always have to correct myself because long tail is such a habit. So again, I'm going to go under the far part of the loop, pick up the yarn that's on my index finger and tension. 